Hi, welcome to Sid's Tips. Thank you so much for joining me. And today I want to introduce you to a service called Loom. Loom is a service I've been using over the past several months for work. This is a service to communicate with, whether you're doing sales prospecting, training, you are in direct selling, you want to just do some communication with your team. So many different ways you can use Loom. But as I say, you can show it, say it, send it. It's real quick videos of your screen and cam, an essential tool for hybrid workplaces. And I worked for a company many years ago that had a solution like this, but they've really taken this to another level. So we'll dive in more. Now, you'll see as I'm talking in this video, I will be moving my circle around, which is great. We'll dive in that in a second about what you can do with the circle. Uh, there are different versions that are available. You can take advantage of the free starter, the business, which is $8 a month only if you pay annually, and the enterprise solution. And I am with, I'm using the business plan. So that is something to think about. Now with the service uh, and here, and with the circle, as you can see, I can change my, my circle to a smaller size if I want. I can also make it a bigger one and then they give you other options. This icon here is to make my video the entire screen like this. Uh, you could see the resolution adjust a little bit. Well, this is a 1080p so I can go back. Now I can go back to the little circle again. The This one here changes it from a photo that you have with your profile and back to video which you can choose and then this makes it for fun this makes it uh, for the background effect so here now if I wanted a blur background I can do that or if I wanted like you have like in zoom and some of those other conferences you could choose one of their background screens and it works pretty well I've got something behind me and it's a little darker uh, in part of the room which is probably affecting that but I'm gonna put this back to blur now they also have frames with different options uh, to choose from so if you were going to do a status update you can have that around and as you can see kind of makes it more fun so it's very interactive and definitely makes it uh, for a very cool experience so I'm going to change the frame and just leave it with blur so those are the different highlights now there are two versions uh, of Wing that you can use Loom you can use the Google Chrome extension or I'm using, in this case, I'm using the software and I find I really like the software, but you can use the Google Chrome extension. Now in your account, you'll have a personal library and you can create uh, different looms or people equate looms to videos and and then you could send that out and so you can name it and then you could see how many views it has and then go back to it. You can also get notified if somebody watches it. Uh, and what's really great, especially for sales, if I want to target a certain company, I can have their website in the background and then I can create that loom and with my, my video. So it now becomes more personal. Then you also have your starred and the way the starred ones are the ones that you want specifically in that special section. So if you might want to reuse that easy to go to, and I'm using those for my different trainings. So I work for a counterfeit cash detection company and I have certain videos. So here's a training one. Now the next thing I want to share with you is how to then send a loom out. So um, you can go into that loom. You could see it shows the beginning of the video and this is what somebody will see. Uh, there are there's a comment section and record and this is where the branding comes in where you'll have your logo instead of it saying loom you can have your logo and your name and all that good stuff now you can share a number of different ways you can share by an email address you can do that you can copy the link and paste that you can share socially you can share into Facebook Twitter LinkedIn Gmail uh, and then you can also change the privacy of uh, who can see it and what I really like is this. This is the where you can have this look inside your email. So here, for example, I'm going to click GIF thumbnail. I'm going to click on that. Now I'm going to go to Gmail. It work. We'll do the same thing in Outlook as well here in Gmail. And I am going to paste that in. So just like that, when somebody opens up the email, they'll be able to see this and then they can click on it and play and I'll show you what that looks like here in just a moment and then so I'm gonna go ahead and send this 
to myself. So, and I am going to say test. And you can also, by the way, uh, you can change that subject. So if I didn't want to say dry mark flash test, I could change that. But whatever that has down there here is going to be above the video. And then you could, you know, certainly, you know, type something in the email. And then what you're going to do is click send. And there it is. It's sent. Now, this is what it looks like when somebody gets the email. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put it, see it in incognito because my account's open. I want you to see what that looks like. So there it is. Now you could see down below, there is the name of the video. You can comment some, you know, if I wanted to, I can comment. You can also have different icons if you want, uh, like smiley faces and you can adjust the settings. And then there's the, the branded logo. You can change the settings. Like here, I click on download the video and then I can also I just play. So, let me cancel this so you can control the player and then you can control the, the viewing options. This also has a call to action button. So if you wanted and you're selling a solution or a product, you want to go to a specific page, you could click on that. And it, for in this case, it takes right to the product. So which is very cool. Now, let me go back in here a second just to show you as well. You have I'm going to move my circle to this side now. So you have the you can create you can have a different thumbnail if you want. You can do that. Um, you can review the transcript. You could do the video preferences. So you can turn off the download. You can also change uh, the player, the the GIF. Uh, you can uh, you can add the emojis. So if I wanted to turn that on and I save the preference, and I'll show you what that would look like in a minute. You can do that. So there's a lot of different preferences. Now let's go back here and let's reload it now you can see there you can comment and then you can add the uh, different uh, different options that they they have that you had set up there so you can do a smiley face and then you could do uh, Sid and then I could click enter and it it should uh, then show up in your account. I haven't played with that part too much, but you can adjust uh, this here as well as you can see. So there you go. Uh, again, you can come to Loom to learn more. And again, click on my referral link. I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions, please let me know. Very, very cool service. I will be sharing more videos, but I hope this one's of help. Leave any comments uh, down below that I could try and answer for you. And if you're using Loom, love uh, any feedback you might have. Have a great day. Take care.